Now, viewers may remember Moadib or Anthony John Hill, who made a film about the 2005 London bombings, another fabricated terrorist attack called 7-7 Ripple Effect. That film was updated and is now called 7-7 Ripple Effect 2. You can watch it from this link. You may also recall that I reported on the disgraceful behaviour of the UK government to extradite him from Ireland and then incarcerate him for over 150 days in Wandsworth Prison for no good reason other than trying to inform people about his film. Now, for many years, Muad'Dib has campaigned to try and shine a light onto the British monarchy because he states that Queen Elizabeth has no right to be on the throne. He can prove that she has broken her coronation oath, an oath which she signed in 1953. This is what part of the oath states. Will you, to the utmost of your power, maintain the laws of God and the true profession of the gospel? Will you, to the utmost of your power, maintain in the United Kingdom the Protestant Reformed religion established by law? Will you maintain and preserve inviolably the settlement of the Church of England and the doctrine, worship, discipline and government thereof, as by law established in England? And will you preserve unto the bishops and clergy of England and to the churches there committed to their charge all such rights and privileges as by law do or shall appertain to them or any of them. The Queen then replies, all this I promise to do. Note that the Queen has a copy of the Bible in her hand containing God's law when she agrees to this. She goes now to the altar to confirm before God the promises which she has made. Things which I have here before promised I will perform and keep. The Queen kisses the Bible and subscribes the oath. The things which I have here before promised, I will perform and keep. So help me God. Now in this agreement, she is agreeing to maintain the laws of God to the utmost of her power. The laws of God means the laws set out in the Bible that she swore the oath to maintain with her hand on and then kissed. The Queen then, once in power, allowed her government to bring in legislation. This legislation has been used to control, enslave and impoverish us all, all of which Muad'Dib argues goes completely against the laws of God, i.e. the Bible, which means she has broken this coronation oath. This oath is a promise to the people of the UK, to you, to not enslave and impoverish you. Therefore, if she has broken the oath, it means we, the people, have the right to replace her. Muad'Dib states that Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Battenberg Windsor ought to not be on the throne for a second reason. Let me explain. When the Queen was sworn into office during the coronation ceremony, she was supposed to be sitting on a very special ancient stone known as the Stone of Destiny, the British Throne. This is what it states on Wikipedia about that stone. The Stone of Schoon, also known as the Stone of Destiny and often referred to in England as the Coronation Stone, is an oblong block of red sandstone that was used for centuries in the coronation of the monarchs of Scotland and later the monarchs of England and the Kingdom of Great Britain. Historically, the artefact was kept at the now ruined Schoon Abbey in Schoon near Perth. It is also known as Jacob's Pillow Stone and the Tannist Stone and in Scottish Gaelic as Clachna Kinaimhain. The Stone of Schoon was last used in 1953 for the coronation of Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. As viewers may know, on Christmas Day 1950, this stone was removed from Westminster Abbey by four Scottish nationalists and the stone went missing for just over three months. The nationalists gave the stone back by leaving it on the altar of Arbroath Abbey on the 11th of April 1951. The stone was then returned to the throne at Westminster Abbey. Well, that's the official story. 
Please note well, it is the stone of destiny that is the British throne, not the wooden chair. The problem is, as Moadib has shown with photographic analysis and other evidence, that those Scottish nationalists made a replica stone and did not return the real stone. The real stone of destiny is still hidden somewhere in Scotland. So this means that when the Queen was sworn into power in 1953, she was knowingly sitting on a fake stone or on a fake throne. So what you might say? Well, Moadib states, albeit some might wrongly state it's only a technicality, that this is another reason why Elizabeth is not the rightful monarch in the eyes of God whose throne it is. So why am I talking about this? Well, Moadib is on a quest to find the real stone of destiny and has been posting Scotland messenger leaflets through people's doors all around Scotland with the intention of finding information that might help him locate the real stone of destiny in his quest to replace Queen Elizabeth and redistribute back to the British people all the wealth and land she and her forebearers have stolen from the British people over many generations. You can read or download the Scotland Messenger leaflet from this link. So if you have any information of the whereabouts of the real Stone of Destiny, please get in touch with me or directly with Muad'Dib in confidence.